Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Vaga Maradian. Part of our team this week traveled to Nashville, Tennessee to cover the Army Aviation Association of America's annual conference and trade show, where our coverage is sponsored by Leonardo DRS. While there, we spoke with Chris Frillman, Director of Programs for Weapon Systems at Arnold Defense. We asked him about the company's LWL-12 lightweight rocket launcher and the future of weapons development. We're proud to support the Army Aviation Association as well as reacquaint ourselves with uh, old friends and uh, introduce ourselves to new friends at the show. We're most excited to show the uh, LWL-12, our new 12-round rocket pod. It fills the gap between the 7-round rocket pod and the 19-round rocket pod, which um, gives you uh, gives arm reconnaissance as well as multi-role helicopters a nice uh, balance between weight and, and number of shots for target. The LWL-12 uh, using 12 shots is 40 percent lighter than the 19 round pod and utilizing today's laser guided rockets you get much more accurate uh, fire shots on target and you don't need to carry all 19 rounds. In, in fact, the 19 round pod fully loaded with laser guided rockets is almost too heavy for, for the mission. So 12 shots is a great balance between the amount of weight and the amount of shots. Um, the 12, 12 shots means you're, you're over 500 pounds less, so you're carrying, you can carry mo more fuel and have more time to lower it over the target. With the LWL-12, beauty of the launcher is not just skin deep. Deep within inside the launcher, the structural members are, are built to withstand the, the forces and the shock and the vibrations that, are, that come with an active combat helicopter role. The U.S. Army is using Arnold Defense's rocket launchers on the, on the Apache AH-64D and E model helicopters. Um, they're also being used on the AH-6 for special operations roles and, uh, and, and other multi-use combat roles. So in the future, our, our rocket launchers, um, what, we've, what we've done is we've basically done an organ transplant from, from a helicopter and shrunk it down onto a ground vehicle. And we, we're calling this product Fletcher. It's the Fletcher Laser Guided Rocket System. And it's a, it's a four pack at this point. And what it can do is it can uh, provide uh, basically the same type of air support just from a ground vehicle. Arnold Defense has built rocket launchers for over 50 years. And we have the experience and expertise to know what does work and what doesn't work. So the LWL-12 fills a gap between the seven round rocket pod and the 19 round rocket pod and it maximizes both firepower and weight. Based on our experience, we know what works and we know what doesn't to meet the changing needs of the modern battlefield. Our next generation uh, weapon system is called Fletcher and Fletcher is a, is, a, is a land and sea vehicle application and what it does is it allows the uh, user to program the target, whether the target is an enemy emplacement a bunker or a vehicle and so you get the right amount of, of um, weapon effectiveness by programming the warhead prior to launch. We've learned from our experience working with the Department of Defense and we've taken that experience and knowledge and we work with many commercial customers such as Lockheed Martin, Orbital ATK, Raytheon and many others on their next generation weapon systems and solutions. Arnold Defense works very closely with the Naval Surface Warfare Center and the Joint Attack Munitions Center, that's the U.S. Navy and the U.S. Army. And uh, we're, we're finishing up current year's contracts and, and we're looking at the possibility of, of another five-year, multi-million dollar contract to support the warfighters for, for in, uh, now and in the years to come. So additionally, we're also building uh, and enhancing our network of, of uh, international representatives because our representatives understand their, their armies and their navy's needs and they can, they're better positioned to help us serve them. Where we see weapons development going is going beyond the user programming the target to the, the weapon programming the target with, with an optical rec recognition system.